Good evening, and welcome this evening to the production, The Cross. Today is Monday, Thursday, and it commemorates the time that Jesus would come with his disciples, and they would have, and he would institute what is called the Last Supper, and there he would break his bread and, and take the wine, and bless it, and they would drink that and commemorate the price that he would pay just a few days later. It's called Monday, Thursday, because Monday comes from the Greek word mandatum, which is a mandate. And in that mandate, in John 13, 34, Jesus says, love what a new commandment I give to you, that you love one another as I have loved you. Let's go to God in prayer. Gracious God, our Heavenly Father, God, as we're in this Easter season, God, we come thanking you. For God, we understand that our Christian faith centers around Easter, that your rising, God, that our salvation is predicated upon that. So God, even right now, God, we come saying thank you for the price that you shared. God, now as we go into this play, God, we pray that all that we do, will be pleasing to you, that you will be glorified, that we will give the gospel message that you so love the world that you gave your only begotten son, that whosoever believes in you should not perish, but have everlasting life. Lord, we thank you and we bless you. In Jesus' name, amen. As we begin to pray, we would ask that you would, would silence all of your phone, your phones, uh, and without further ado, the play, The Road, written by Bishop James Hinton. Amen. Thank you. 
I don't understand. I just don't understand. Why has the entire countryside taken so much interest in this one man? One man has an entire kingdom against and for him. What kind of man is this? He's done nothing that I can see. No one has died, but yet they say he raised the dead. No one has gotten sick, but yet they say he healed a woman with an issue of blood. I see no signs of witchcraft, but yet they say he cast a legion of demons out of a man. I am confused. I am confused and torn. What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? Twelve of us are here. Let us sit and eat. Master, why do we all eat together? Is this night a special one? Indeed, this is a great night spent with friends. But just as sure as we share of this drink and break up this bread and wash our hands together, one of you will betray me. What do you mean? Who would do that? Master, what are you talking about? Let us bless the food, break bread, and eat. For this is my body. This is my body. Take, eat. Father, I give thanks unto you for this cup and for the blood that was shed for us today. For this is my blood, the blood that has been shed for many of the New Testament for the remission of sins. Drink ye all of it. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
The next time I drink, I will drink new in my father's house. It is written, I shall strike the shepherd, and the sheep shall be scattered abroad. Master, you are talking strange. You're insane. I will never harm you, nor hurt you. Oh, Peter, I tell you the truth. Before the sun rises, you will deny me three times. Master, you're wrong. I will die with you and for you. And so would I. Pray. I will go into the mountain and I ask you, watch and pray. I will take this cup away from me. It is getting heavy and I am getting tired. I ask you to watch and to pray. And here you are asleep. We're sorry, Master. We won't do it again. We're sorry, Master. Give us, Master. Give us another chance. I will return into the mountain. I ask you. Watch and pray. Oh! 
Father, if it be thy will, take this cup from me. I'm getting sorrowful. Uh, my, my soul is getting heavy. But nevertheless, not my will. But thy will be done. Thy will be done. I ask you to watch and pray. And here you have fallen asleep again. Give us, Sorry, Master, give us another chance, Master. Forgive us, Master. Sleep on, my friends. The hour has come. And I've been betrayed. No. No, Master. Not Master, us. Master no. give us another chance. your silver, your money. Do not judge me for what I am about to do. I don't know why I'm doing it, but nonetheless, I will give you a sign. Yes. Yes. I will kiss Jesus. That way you will know how to seize and grab it. Peter. Shalom. Master. Seize him! I don't need your help. If you live by the sword, you will die by the sword. I don't need your help. If I pray to my father, he will send 12 legions to my aid. I must fulfill prophecy. Oh. 
follower of Pilate's law, he is an enemy of Pilate. Let's say the great fear. Fear. Are you afraid? Are you not the one who travels with this man called the king of the Jews? I, 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 I do not know this man. Are you not the one? I, I do not know this man. Oh, you are not the one. I do not know, I do not know this man. Uh, Pilate, this man has betrayed you, me. And this great country. He claimed to be the Messiah, the one sent by God. He claimed to perform miracles and heal the sick. I call it blasphemy, a downright lie. What do you have to say for yourself, King? Of no one? I have nothing to say. Prophecy is being fulfilled. Again, he claims to be the Messiah. The one sent by God. He's a liar. A mere lying man. Kill him! Crucify him! Kill him! I ask of you, the people ask of you, to make a judgment against this man, make a judgment for the people. What is your ruling step? Stop. Oh, people of mine, I have heard you. I have listened. I have watched. This is not a normal case, not a normal ruling. I see where this person has done no wrong. I see nothing where he has hurt or broken any of our laws broken any of my law. He has done no wrong. I will give you a ruling. I tell you this after long consideration and thought. I leave the decision in your hands for you to deal with. You choose to change history. I give you two choices. A murderer, Barabbas, or the king of the Jews, Jesus. Who do you choose to die? Give us Barabbas! Free Barabbas! Give us Barabbas! Free Barabbas! Stop! You have chosen Barabbas this day. Priest, I turn it over to you. You do as you see fit. I wash my hands of this situation. I wash my hands of it. Grab him!
for years. Yeah. The guard's here. Yeah. <coughs>
Master, I know that I have done wrong. I know that I deserve to die. But you, you have done nothing. Save yourself and forget about us. But this day, I will remember you when I enter into heaven. You too shall be with me. Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Father, take this pain, take this pain away from me into your head. Do I commend my spirit? <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm alive. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I am the living one. I was dead. But I'm alive. I'm alive. I am the keys to death and hell. I'm alive. Jesus went to Calvary to save a wretch like you and me. That's love. That's love. Jesus went to Calvary to save a wretch. Like you and me, that's love. That's love. Jesus went. Jesus went to Calvary to, Calvary to save a wretch. To save a wretch like, like you and me, that's love. That's love. That's love. Jesus went. Jesus went to Calvary to save a wretch like you and me. That's love. That's love. That's love. They hung him high.
the story is three days, three days later. He rose. He rose. Talking about love today. No, 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 break your love. Come on, that's not how the story is. But the Bible says three days later, he rose again. If you believe he rose again and we are here to celebrate his resurrection, I need somebody to stand to their feet and make some noise. The story is three days later. He rose again. That's love. If you're not ashamed to tell the world that he rose, that's love. Come on, join me one more time in this verse. That's not how. That's not how. The story is. Three days later, he rose again. That's love. That's love. That is love. Aren't you glad that's not how the story is? Aren't you glad that he loved us so much that he gave his life that we could have life and we could have that life more abundantly? If you're here today, tonight, if you really don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, if you just heard about it, but you have not accepted him. We give you this golden opportunity tonight to ask the Lord Jesus to come into our heart, to ask the Lord Jesus to save your soul, to surrender your all to him because he paid it all. If you're here tonight and you're a backslider, you slid back from Christ, we invite you tonight by the power of God to walk back up, walk back in the will of God, in the ways of God. Whoever's here tonight, do not worry about who's next to you. Do not worry about who's in front of you or in back of you. Be concerned about your own soul. But that is not how the story ends. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Yeshua HaMasil, Jesus the Christ, that we could be saved. If you're here tonight, don't be ashamed of the gospel of Christ. Don't be ashamed because he was not ashamed to take your sin and my sin upon his shoulder that we could have everlasting life. So tonight, 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 wherever you are, wherever you stand, Tonight, we invite you to Christ. We invite you to accept him in your life. We invite you to say yes to the Lord. If that is you tonight, raise your hand wherever you are. Don't be ashamed of the people. They got to stand for themselves. Don't be ashamed of your neighbor. They got to stand for themselves. Because everybody will stand and give an account to the almighty God for your own self whether it be good or whether it be evil. And if you're a backslider tonight, come to Jesus. Come to Jesus right now. This has been a beautiful experience to remind us what Christ did for us. So tonight, tonight, wherever you are, if you're ready to say yes to God's will, if you're ready to say yes to his way, wherever you are, Raise your hand. Well, we don't see your hand tonight. And let me tell you something. The wonderful pastor of this church, the Dr. Ford, and the beautiful membership, the deacons and the elders and all the membership of this great church have given you the opportunity. So tonight, if you will leave this world, your blood would not be at their hands. Your blood would not be at our hands. It is up to you. If you decide to do it later, you can still talk to one of the deacons or the elders or talk to one of the trustees or one of the, play, one of the people that present the play. You can do that. It's never too late. Don't let it be said. 
too late. God bless you. Come on, let's give God some praise. What a phenomenal presentation. Play is written by Bishop James Hinton. Amen. Let's praise God for Bishop James Hinton. And then all of our actors, amen, that's all around this building. Come on, let's give God some praise. Come on up, y'all. What a phenomenal presentation on tonight. Amen. Amen. First, I want to just thank everyone who came out tonight to this. It wasn't a performance for us. It's ministry. It's ministry. It's not a performance for us. It's ministry. It's ministry. And I just want to give Jesus one minute to say something. Amen. He said he wants to talk to us for a second. There may be someone who just needs to hear his voice. Amen. Amen. And then after that, I'm going to just announce the actors and their names. Amen. To God be the glory. See, I'm standing here as a man of God. A man of God who knows Jesus Christ personally. An advocate and an ambassador of our Lord Jesus Christ. So when I'm standing here, I'm manifesting for my Father in heaven. This is the call for all of us to be filled with the Spirit and to be Christ-like. I'm just a man. These are just men and women in this church, but we're called. To do the works of the Father. To be like Jesus. To be filled with the Spirit. So don't let me as a man. Because I know a lot of people are like. This ain't the real Jesus. That's, no, this is, I'm letting it clear. Because some people may think that. That's the mindset. But the mindset is this. We are here to do ministry. That souls may be saved. That people would come back to the Lord. Backslidden states. Back to the Lord. So don't look at me as the man like you're coming to me. You're going to him. That's who you have to answer to. That's who I have to answer to. My Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Had it not been for him, I wouldn't be here. So I just thank God for this opportunity to manifest Christ. You take your opportunities to manifest Christ. You go into your communities and be a Christ. Amen? Christ-minded. Godliness is more than character. It's nature. We have to operate in the nature. The Bible says that they had a form of godliness, meaning they did all the characteristics of a godly person, but they weren't operating in the nature of God, speaking things into existence. We have been called and given dominion of the earth. God will not do anything except he does it through a man or a woman. To God be the glory. So let God use you on this day. But first, get it right. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. I have holy productions. I just don't have a production, but I have holy productions to cause change and transformation to take place in the lives of everyone. Each one of my cast members can tell their story. We're not going to do it tonight, amen, but they believe. Their faith is strong. Amen. We encourage you tonight to get to know him. Say your names and your characters. My name is Floyd Lawrence and I play Judas. Michael L. Stackhouse, Peter. I'm Damon Cook. I'm just one of the disciples. I'm Sheila McCoy, and I played Martha. Keisha Allen, disciple. Brianda Smiling, Mary. I'm Matthew Notice, played the priest. Michael Hawkins, Pontius Pilate. Dante Statham, priest guard. 
Alex, Alex Ambrose, Roman guard. Emmanuel Revenge, Roman guard 1A. Now my name is Chucky Person, playing the role of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Apostle Streeter already said, we thank Faith Tabernacle for their house and the great prelate of this house. Amen. None other than Dr. Ford. We owe you a cross, sir. Amen. Listen, have you enjoyed yourself Dr. tonight? Ford, I cannot go without my musicians. Can everyone big up for the musicians? My tech guys. Brother Shaquille. Brother Wayne. Brother Tyrone. Brother Kurt. And Brother Maurice up there in the lights. And my right hand, Miss Wanda. Miss Janice, stage manager, stage productions. JoJo Pearson, JEH. Everyone who's a part of us, I thank you. I thank you. Have you enjoyed yourself tonight? Come on, let's give God some praise. And this has been a collaboration of all of the pastors in Stanford. See Pastor Bush in the back. Pastor Bush, would you stand? Bishop David James is here. Amen. Amen. Pastor John Luke is here. Amen. We have saw Apostle Streeter. Amen. We thank God for her today. Amen. Amen. Apostle Dukes went out of town on yesterday, and so did uh, uh, Robert Jackson, Dr. Robert Jackson. But this is a collaboration of all of the pastors in Stanford coming together as community so we can come in fellowship as one body in Christ, which God has made us. Amen. Amen. What a wonderful, what a wonderful sight this is. My prayer is that we can just do more of this in the coming years. Amen. 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 Come on, let's give God some praise. Now, I'm just thinking, now, if I had gone to a play on Broadway, I would have paid at least $90 for a ticket. And then you got to pay the fee to get it. Here, there was no fee up front. Amen. But not only that, but you receive spiritual nourishment for your soul. And friends, I don't know about you, but that is priceless. You can't pay enough for what you received on tonight. So we're going to take up an offering. We're going to ask our trustees to come. We will have a basket for the church. And Trustee Brown will hold the basket for the clergy. Amen. And we want you to reach in your pockets and do as best you can. The concerned clergy, the pastors of the concerned clergy, have each, uh, we, we've pledged to give $20 per night. We've been in Lenten services for seven weeks. We'll be here tonight, and then we'll be here tomorrow morning. And we've pledged $20 per night. Friends, we would ask if you can, if you can do the same, or do the best you can. We're going to ask that you get your offering out, and as we prepare to play, bless it, and I'm going to ask if David James would come and pray over the offering. Come on, Bishop. Once he prays, we will be in the hands of our ushers. Amen. Let us pray. Father, we thank and praise you, God. We lift you up. We magnify you. We glorify your name, O oh God. 
We thank you, Lord, for this offering that will be taken tonight, O oh God. We thank you for the seed that will be planted, O oh God, in good ground. We ask, O oh God, that you'll multiply it, Lord God, some 30, some 60, and the most 1,000 fold. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 As our ushers lead us, we would ask that you would please stand and follow the directions of the ushers. As they do, listen, I would be remiss if I did not mention our potentate elder. Winton Hill, who has been leading us. Amen. We praise God for him on this evening for his leadership of the clergy. If you have Givelify, we ask that you would do it to Faith Tabernacle Missionary Baptist Church. The information is on the screen. Put other and write Lenten services. Amen. 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 We're going to ask if Pastor Bush would come with the final remarks and benediction. I know I saw him. Amen. Praise the Lord, and what a, what a wonderful evening, and a beautiful rendering of what we call Monday Thursday, which is Holy Thursday, the night on which our Lord had been betrayed. 
And when what we believe as the Lord's Supper was instituted, and what a beautiful rendering tonight from Bishop Hinton and this cast. Uh, all of them did a marvelous job. And what a marvelous gathering this is to have all of you out tonight. Those who have left and those of you who are still here, it has been a blessing to be able to be back together, isn't it? Now, Psalm, I believe it's 133. Is, is that the unity? Y'all don't know what I'm talking about. Some of you know it. Behold how good and how pleasant it is when God's people dwell together in unity. I grew up in a church where old deacon used to shout every Sunday and did the same prayer every Sunday. And one thing he would say every Sunday, but I heard it, is church, together we stand, but divided we fall. He's gone to glory, and I'm still saying that to others. I want to thank all of the pastors and all of the churches for your support during this season. We have had a wonderful Lenten season. If you miss the seven say I am sayings of Jesus out of the Gospel of John, you have missed something this season. These preachers carried on, and I mean they put something down in there. When Jesus said, I am the light, I am the bread, I am the resurrection, I am the way. We've had a time, and all I can say is praise God. And tonight I want to be uh, clear to say this has been a conjoint effort of the pastors. And I want to say how grateful I am for the leadership of uh, both the very fine churches, Bethel AME Church, that hosted us all the season. Dr. Robert Jackson, and on these two nights, or two days, tonight we are here at the great, great faith tabernacle. Amen. And with our very own Dr. Ford, we are grateful for your spirit as well in leadership and making this space available to us. I want to publicly express my gratitude right now. Tomorrow we have one more service at noon. Is that right? The Lord will die, surely, on Good Friday. And we have invited the new pastor, newly installed pastor of the Union Baptist Church here to come and make sure he killed Jesus well. Amen. And I know that Dr. Bradley is well able to handle the task, and we're looking forward to having a great time tomorrow at noon. I don't know about you, but I've been blessed. My soul is on fire. Hallelujah. Listen, I would be remiss if I did not do this. Deacons, deaconesses, would y'all stand up? Our ushers in the back, listen, they have come and they have worked tirelessly. Our trustees, listen, I want to thank you for coming out and being a part and working. Amen. 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 Thank you all again. And we ask that you continue to pray for us. Pray for us, pastors. Because we're going to get it together one day. And when your pastors get it together in Stanford, your church is going to have it together. Y'all pray for us now.
Keep us in prayer. If all hearts and minds are clear, shall we stand together? Let us pray. O oh God, for all that we have experienced as a breath of fresh air, we ask now, O oh God, that you will give us wisdom, courage to take it in, and to live by what we have heard, what we've been made to feel tonight. And now I ask that you go with each one of us as we go out in peace and go out in unity and in the strength of our Lord Jesus Christ. For the joy of the Lord is our strength tonight. We thank you for this day. We thank you for all that we have experienced. Now bless us as only you can. And may your grace Rest, rule, and abide with each of us, hence now and forevermore. And every heart said, Amen. Amen. Uh, oh, uh. Amen. We would ask if you're double parked underneath that you would please make your way to your car and move it. Amen. Amen. Amen.